Okay, so when we're thinking about um, nozzle selection, whether it be for a double knock or any sort of application, I guess there's a couple of things we need to consider. And they are the speed the machine's going to travel at, the application volume you want to choose, and typically having a nozzle chart handy will, will help in that situation. So most nozzle charts will have a couple of features. They'll outline the nozzle size, speed across the top, and your application volumes in the middle. And on the other side, they'll talk about droplet size and spray quality. Now, typically with a double knock strategy, we'll be dealing with two different modes of action and probably two different application volumes. So your glyphosate type product at 60 litres per hectare plus, probably in a, a coarse spray quality, whereas you're looking at a higher application volume for your contacts around that 80 litres plus probably in a small end of course to medium. So in some instances this may be achievable with a single nozzle, other times you may need to look at different types. Now in most instances in summer fallow, a lot of guys will be using air induction style nozzles. These are fairly compact, ideally run around that three to four bar to achieve a course, but you can run them up to five or six bar and get a medium droplet out of them. So it does give you some flexibility of increasing pressure for the same travel speed if you're going to do a double knock, you may be able to achieve it out of one nozzle type. Alternatively, if your volume's going higher, you may need to consider a different type of nozzle or a larger orifice size, and they're typically colour-coded on the charts to pick the size you want. Now, for a double knock, that may be done with one nozzle, but when you come to using, say, a Group A product, where we're dealing with oil-based products, sometimes these nozzles at low pressure can get too coarse, and if you don't run enough pressure through them with an oil-based wetter, you may actually collapse the air. So quite often for those types of products, I'd be suggesting something like a, a pre-orifice nozzle or a Turbo T. So it looks a bit like a fan, but they have the plug in the back. And you, these can run at two to three bar, you know, sort of uh, 30 to 45 PSI, um, and won't be as affected by the oil as say an air induction will. So double knocks, you may get one set of these, it'll do both but grass selective sprays we're using group A's, I'd actually probably change to a non-air induction nozzle for that type of job.